everyone, it's Angie. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I'm coming today to do a DT for Tracy Fox, and that's Love Junk Journals. And this is a art journal, and we'll get into that in a minute. But you can find all of Tracy's links in social media below, so please go follow her if you do not. Also, there are wonderful, talented um, team on Tracy's team, and those links are all down below. So make sure you follow the rest of her DT. It's been a pleasure being on her DT for the last couple of years. So thank you so much, Tracy. I hope you like this uh, art journal that I made using your um, digitals. So the digitals I used were um, the large entomology labels, the, um, the day book, the very vintage floral tea cards, more rather random labels, and the eclectica. So those... <laughs> All of her digitals always work together and I always end up, you know, searching through all her past and present digitals to, I really don't come up with a theme. I just see something and then I kind of run off of that and then I kind of go through some of her past digitals or whatever will work with my art journal and then it kind of is built from there. So I hope you really enjoy this art journal. I don't name my art journals. I, I guess there's a theme running on um, through this book. Um, I guess this would be kind of like a bee a honeybee kind of a theme if I were to call it a theme but it's mostly just um, you know an art journal and then I just kind of go from there and I don't you know, like I said I never know where I'm going with a journal everybody you know if you've asked how I get my layers and textures and whatnot and I really don't know what I'm doing I do know what I'm doing excuse me I don't know what I'm going with at the time I just kind of just start slapping things together <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but that's just how I work. I'm kind of just like, oh, I'm going to do this. Oh, I'll pop this on here. Let's see how this works. It's a lot of experimentation in my work. Um, and, and down the road, yes, I'll use it again if it worked. And if it didn't, uh, well, then you don't see it. Well, you kind of see it because I'll end up working it until it works. But sometimes I chuck it out, but not very often, you guys. So always work with what you have and try to work through it. Um, that's a lot of things that I do, like, you know, like, this crackle medium was going to fall off and I was like, oh, I need to come up with a solution and I was going to use a caustic wax anyways. So that kind of, um, held on to the crackles and it also gave it a texture, more texture than I was planning on using. But like I said, I'm always working on, you know, on the seat of my pants <laughs> and, and then just something evolves. And I'm very, I love this. I love this art journal. It is, I think it's one of my ultimate favorites. I always say that, um, but I really think, you know, I've been really into the colors and you guys have been loving that. I've been diving into brights and fluorescent and whatnot. But I thought I thought I would hone it back in and get back to my neutrals and grungy, grungy colors, which I love to do. But I'm missing my colors as well. It's been fun dancing all over the color palette. I advise you guys to do that if you get comfortable with certain things. Just you don't know unless you try if you like something else. And I didn't know I'd ever like color as much as I have this last few months and it's brought me into new avenues it's opened more doors for me so <clears throat> if you feel like you're stuck move on to something else even though it feels uncomfortable because that's what I've done and it's really paid off for me and uh, yeah it's just it's been it's been fun all right so let's get into this journal uh, like I said I told you what I used for the digitals so this is a gutted book and I usually love the, um, you know, the rounded spine and whatnot, but when I get the books, I kind of keep them to what, to its authenticity of the book. So here's the spine. Um, so like I said, layers upon layers upon layers, and we come up with this, <laughs> this really grungy, rustic, uh, neutral journal. And everything is on there to stay, you guys. Like, I, I take pride in making sure everything is good to go you know um so this is one of the labels that tracy has and then i do have a video on how i back them with the silver to make them look more authentic and then i do add the encaustic wax over it you can see the shine there and then this was just a i wanted glass you guys but it wasn't going to work out so um because i don't I don't have everything um from my my storage yet so I found this and it's a piece of acrylic and I thought that'll work. And then I wanted it to look like honey in the back, but I didn't want to put encaustic on it. 
So I always go for my second encaustic love, and that is the Seth Apter Vintage Beeswax. If you guys do not own that, Embossing Power, please run powder. Please run out and get it because it is phenomenal. It gives this really cool texture and waxy feel. Uh, gives it that shine. So that is what I put on that acrylic, and it worked perfect. It sticks. It's not chipping. It's really good. And then that always I put wire. And this is just some rusty bits up here. And then here's the back, you guys. Lots of texture, grunginess. Almost looks like somebody said tree bark. I kind of agree with that. It's like a mixture of like tree bark and honeycomb and netting in there. It's just, it's really cool. And I always like to do this really cool kind of mixed media dangle on the side. So that is a bee um, I made out of a mold and then I painted it and made a crackle on it. Sorry, I can't do up close here, you guys. And then um, this is just, okay, now my camera is going to be not a good camera. Hold on, you guys. Okay, anyways, hopefully that fixed the problem. So let's dive in. Uh, this is, I usually do a wraparound ribbon. Um, the last journal, I actually made a really cool closure. This time I thought, well, I usually dye the ribbons to match my journals. So uh, I use a lot of these fabrics within the journal, so I thought it'd be fun to use the leftovers. I just sewed them together. You know how sorry ribbons sew together. That's all I did. And I just used all the leftover pieces. It was rusty fabric, dyed fabric, coffee dyed fabric, tea dyed fabric, all kinds of fun stuff. So I thought that made a really cool closure on this journal. And it made it really grungy and rustic. So that worked out. And uh, anyway, so it's just a wrap around. Just wrap it around. And we'll get into this journal. Uh, put that to the side. Make sure I'm not in frame here. Okay, so here is the inside. And we're going to go quick, you guys, because it's... <laughs> we're going to go quick. Anyway, so here is the pockets I made. This is one of Tracy's Digitals. I thought it... I think this was out of her day book, I believe. Um... I thought it went well because of bees, you know, flowers, and then these are her tea cards. And I'm not going to pull everything out, you guys, because it's just ephemera, and you can kind of get the gist of the ephemera that I used. Um, that's from one of her labels, Tracy's. And then I just have tags and ephemera, papers in there, and then this cool little bee over here um, with some grunginess and some tool and, you know, like netting, bee netting, or... You know stuff like that i try to think about the bee <laughs> and then here's my first signature and these are removable removable signatures and i do not have them all removed i just have the first one removed so you can get the idea of what i mean by removable i've been doing this for a couple of years now um, because i was like man i put so much work into my journals um and i just wanted you know to be able to reuse them so that is where I came up with this idea, and it's in the hidden spine. This is a hollow spine, and it's hidden within there. And it's very sturdy, you guys. So there are three elastic bands in here, and they hold in your signatures. And I also do not sew my signatures in to the signature cover. That is left to be re reusable as well, because I do spend a lot of time on my covers. And that's kind of uh, where my... Uh, pages are kind of blank. I don't do a lot of emphasis in them because I want them to be art journals. I want you to be able to either put plaster or gesso or go, do whatever you want to have a jump start off of this right in it. It's what it's made for. These are more art journals. So I kind of stated that. Um, I did do a little bit of collage work on the front page. So it's, I've been doing a little bit of that, which is, you know, just gives it more layers and textures in there. So that's always fun. And there's one of Tracy's tea cards and this little fabric. Just adding more textures to my journals I thought would have been fun. Um, like I said, I don't go crazy on doing pockets and whatnot. Nothing against that. I love that. <laughs> one day I'll maybe get back into doing more of that. But right now it's mine are a little bit naked and textured. And um, you could put plaster on that. Uh, but more for the artist or, you know, journaler, as it's supposed to be. I mean, you could add pockets to these or do whatever you wanted to. Um, there's a tight signature. These are all tea-stained papers. Um, all kinds of different kinds of papers in here. Sturdy papers. Some I gessoed and did a little bit of artwork on just to, you know, jumpstart off of it. And then here's the back. And then here's the 
back of this and this little layered collage and this little pocket back here. So I do add things. It's more just going to be more collagey stuff here. And then this is what I did on my last journal, you guys. I usually don't add dangles, but I thought this was so fun. Um, on the last journal, I did it again. So I love, I'm going to keep, I think I'm going to do this probably more often because <laughs> it's really fun. And then um, here's the inside of the cover. These are clear pockets. Some of Tracy's um, digital right here, right here. And then um, let's see, here's my tab. I did a little safety pin. I have a tutorial on that as well. If you want to run back to my videos, you'll see that. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. There's just so much texture on this. There's encaustic on the picture here. There you go. You can see it there. Get that glare. I love collaging. I love doing the string and just tattered and layered. And again, this is this runs like the cover. I kind of did it in the same theme, but like I said, everything's always different because you know you try to do it the same, but it everything ends up different. But there's so much texture on this, you guys. I love how it's kind of burnt and just layered and. Oh, I love it. Um, and then I also, on my last journal, I added a little bit of a dangle or a little bit of some material on the bottom. I thought that was really fun because it gives it the journal a really cool look on the bottom. I guess I didn't show that when um, I had it closed and wrapped up, but it looks really neat just layered on the bottom here. So I have like a piece of doily there, and then I'll show you what I have on the next signature. I'm not going to go through the pages, you guys, because um, they're they're the same kind of pages. So here is another Tracy's labels, the big, large labels, and then again, the wax on there. I forgot to show you that. Those are fun, so I put that on the back. Here's the second signature. Same thing. Um, same concept. Here's the inside. The number two down there hanging. Tracy's little digitals in here. I love these these clear little pockets because you can kind of see the artwork behind it still it's not covering things up um the only thing different are these little collages that i've done and we're going to run through these really quick and then the collage on the back and then it has her tea cards back there and i kind of left them long so you can pull it out and there's the back and then here's the piece of fabric piece of ticking that i use on the bottom of that hang out and these are in the elastic. And here's the third signature. Here's the back of the second one, one of Tracy's labels. I have encaustic over it. This has encaustic. This is the third signature. There's encaustic all over this, you guys. Because <laughs> I wanted to run that wax theme I um, through the whole journal because, you know, the B. And there is the little three there. And then um, here's the inside. The third signature, and then this is the collage on this one. And then we'll go through the back here. And then here's the back little collage here. Just a little fun stuff in the back of the third. And this is a rusty piece of cheesecloth that's more of a tight woven cheesecloth. And then and I just rusted it up with some rust. And then here's the back of the <clears throat> third signature. And then here's a pocket and all that has ephemera. This is Tracy's paper and it has a caustic wax on it. And these pull out like this. So that's fun. And these are Tracy's from Tracy's kit. And then here's the back, you guys. So there you go. There it is. There is this little beauty. Um, yeah, if you're interested in more info on this journal, just email me. I have all my information down below. As well as Tracy's information and her DT. So please go follow and check all those out and hope everybody's having a wonderful day and we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.